Governor Rick Perry took a jab at local school districts just days before a state education rally is planned at the Capitol. This morning, the governor suggested hiring too many non-classroom employees has helped put school districts in the financial crunch they're in right now, rather than a lack of state funding. But according to the TEA website, the ratio of teachers to non-teachers at school districts across Texas has changed less than a percentage point in the last decade. KXAN's Jared Wise continues our coverage on the school funding crisis with some local parents fired up to make noise at the Capitol. Yes, well, Austin school district parents are still worried about school closures. They're off the table for this year, but according to this facilities task force master plan finalized this week, five schools are recommended for closure next year, another four for 2013. And that's working off the idea that the state will potentially cut state funding by four billion dollars. That state cut could be as high, though, as five billion dollars, resulting in an even bigger deficit for the Austin School District. The district hinted that if that were to happen, schools could close this year after all. So parents and the community aren't easing up in their protests. Well, I just live in the neighborhood. Melinda Waters is not a parent, but she sees this school every day. She joined dozens of parents, teachers, and students at Ortega Elementary, tying shedded pieces of fabric together to symbolize a bond. You think about a, a president being wrapped. The school is totally a gift to this neighborhood, and we just want to show that we love it, and we love that they're here. It's colorful. Even fifth grader Isaiah Rodriguez knows how important this school is to his education. I have a little brother and a little sister. And I hope that they can get to fifth grade. And we're going to do everything we can to fight to keep this school open because our kids need this school. Many that are here are preparing for the upcoming statewide education rally. And despite recent remarks from the governor, we have a structure suggesting an increase in non-classroom employees has helped cause the financial school crisis. Many here are still blaming the state. We have all these programs that have been given to us for our children, and to me that's not misfunding uh, the, the money. That's helping our kids continue their education. And as long as it takes, communities will continue their fight. I think the school issue is just a, it's not just, just a kid and parent issue, even though that's really important. It's also just a neighborhood and a community and a lot issue for everyone. Now thousands of teachers, parents, and students from all over Texas are expected at the Save Texas School Rally. It's this Saturday at noon on the south steps of the Capitol. Reporting live in the studio, Jared Wise, KXAN, Austin.